All right, in this training, we're going to talk about how to overcome your fear of being seen unsuccessful or failing or not doing well or ha having made it yet, right? How many of you feel this way? Probably a lot. And this is really 95% of success. It's not necessarily the skills, but it's all up here. Okay, that's why the book Think and Grow Rich. It's about thinking. And I'm, so I'm going to share the tips here and also the source of that and how to overcome that. So first step, you know, we're talking about the three steps to, so, so, uh, three steps to success. The three A's is attitude, action, and accountability, right? You got to have the attitude change the way you think. Attitude, not saying you have a bad attitude, but the way you see things. That will get you to action and then to take the next level, you got to have the accountability. So attitude, I'm going to give you a different way to think about having not made it yet, right? Getting over the feeling. So number one is you attract what you think. You got to understand you attract what you think. So because you're thinking this way, that is why you're stuck. Okay, because you're attracting everything. And once you understand, so if you have a negative attitude uh, or, or just complaining, that's what you're going to attract in life. If you're always talking about, you know, being positive, you attract positivity. If you're thinking you're not doing that well, you know what's going to happen is you attract, you know, every, whatever objection that, that comes up a lot, that is, shows you what's affecting you. So, for example, if a lot of people, if with this type of attitude, well, I haven't made it yet, how many of you have a prospect ask you, how much money have you made? How are you doing the business now? Right, asking if you how much money are you uh, successful yet? If they keep asking you that question, it's because that is what you're thinking about. You always attract what you think. I'll give you an example. When I first started, a question that I always got objection was the auto ship objection. You know, our company had a monthly requirement, and I just didn't. You know, I got started a uh, fourteen hundred dollar package, and before I made any money, I put two thousand dollars in already. And every month, we had to buy products. Right to qualify every month, where to get products, and I just felt like that's not. I didn't even use up my, uh, you know, I had a whole garage, you know, the closet of products. I haven't finished using them. Why do I have to buy more products? And I had that objection of this, you know, you should be able to put it on hold. And because of that, every prospect I, w I would, when going to close, they would say, um, "Do I have a monthly expense? Why do I have to buy?" It will come up, and the reason it came up is one on prospecting. I mean, I may have sounded really confident, really good, but when it came to that, that thing about um, do I have to buy every month or is there a monthly expense, I always, I didn't realize it, but subconsciously, because it bothered me, I would change my tone of voice. I would change, my, uh, change the way I talk about something. And people could instantly feel that something's going wrong. It's just like, uh, um, so if someone's lying, you can feel that negative energy, right? Some of you have pets. When you're feeling bad, or down, your dog, or ca uh, especially dogs, I don't know about cats, but my dog, Obi, he will feel that, that something is wrong, right? Or like, you know, sometimes my wife and I, we get into any relationship, we get an argument, and we're not happy. My dog can instantly feel something is wrong. They feel the energy. So whatever you're thinking, that is always what you're attracting. Your prospect feels that energy. If you're getting an objection that's constantly being asked over and over and over again, it's because that is what you're thinking. You're attracting what you're thinking. Another example, if people are asking, oh, how much time does it take? If they're always asking the time objection, or I don't have time, it's because you deep down don't really believe you have the time to be successful in that business. All right? So that's one fundamental thing. You attract what you think. Now, let's talk about getting over the fear of being seen failing or not successful. Number one, okay, uh, is most of your friends whatever they're not thinking about you who cares i mean are they sleeping at night it's like oh oh my goodness i can't believe uh yeah uh d is not that successful they uh they're dreaming about you no they're not they're not thinking about this is a profound moment for me when i realized no one was thinking about you no one was thinking about simon because they're so worried about what others are thinking about them no one thinking about you they may talk a little about you, but they're not staying up all night thinking about, oh my goodness, I can't believe D, what is she doing? They're not worried about that. Okay? Oh, Amanda, I can't believe she's doing the business. She hasn't made any money yet. Like, they're sleeping, they're dreaming. They're not thinking about you. They are not. They're worried about what others are thinking about them. They don't, have, they don't even have time to think about you. They don't have energy to think about you because they're worried about what others are people thinking about them. Okay, so know that if you think your friends are thinking about it, that's just your imagination. 
You're imagining it. Who cares? They're not spending much time. Second thing is, why are you valuing the opinion of someone who hasn't done it yet? Okay, and it goes back, you need to change the circle of people you're around with. Because the, you know, the saying I was talking about in the show, on the podcast, you're the five people you surround your, you're the five people you surround yourself with. So if you surround yourself with uh, these people who are doubters, they will feel, oh yeah, because they don't get network marketing. Spend more time with people who do get, be part of the community. That's why, you know, going to events and conferences are so important. Because normally when we are in the normal world, we're seen as weird, we're different. But when you're in a conference, you're seen as normal, right? When you're an insider member, you're like, wow, we're part of family. It's so important to spend more time in the community where you're accepted, right? That is really huge. Spend the time to engage with people. Who cares what they think? You know, even most people don't even know what I do. Most people are like, oh, what is this ML mission? What is, uh, you know, people in my neighborhood think, well, what do you do? Uh, they, now, they respect me for business, but they don't understand. A lot of people don't understand, like, wow, you just don't go to work? You don't go anywhere? Uh, you don't have to deal with this community? I don't even understand, like, um, traffic. Like, I, I always say, if I had to have a job, people ask me, do I like living in L.A.? If I didn't have a job, if I had a job, I probably wouldn't live in L.A. because the traffic sucks. Right? But I live at home and all I do is just go on webinars, go on Facebook Lives, trainings, uh, or I'm speaking at major events. People don't get that. Right? And it's okay. If I was letting the people's opinions get uh, bother me. So even in my circle of friends here who are not in network marketing, I spend time with people who are entrepreneurs. So they get it. Right? People like who have a job, they don't get it. People are entrepreneurs, they get what I do. And actually, a lot of my close friends here, are, they not, may not be in network, uh, network marketing or do coaching or in uh, network marketing. But they're all entrepreneurs. They understand. They respect. Okay, so you got to surround yourself with people who get it. Spend more time. Now, I know sometimes the most negative people are your friends and family. You have to understand, no matter what you do, you cannot save them. Because they know you too well. Okay, if you let you think about your, your opinions of your close ones, your, ne- your friends and family, it will just drive you to misery. They'll never listen to your advice, and you're never going to convince them. Because also, they know you too well. It's just like me. A lot of my... Um, People have known me for a long time. They know me too well. So whatever I say, they know me back when Simon was cutting class. Simon didn't do well in school. Simon, they, they can't get past that. Okay, so don't let these people, why are you valuing the opinion of someone who hasn't made it yet? Okay, don't waste your time. Think about who, take advice and opinions of people who are more successful. If they're more successful you in this niche, then, hey, maybe you should get, listen to them. But shouldn't be less taking advice or let the opinion of someone who's not in network marketing affect you if you wanted to build network marketing, okay? Now, if you're um, thinking you're failing or not successful, right? It's going to affect the way you prospect. We're talking about you because you always attract what you are. So instead of focusing on results, focus on the journey. Focus on the journey, right? Because if you're focusing on success, you're always going to be disappointed. I'll tell you that. You know, success, you're going to write this down, type and repeat this. I want you, one of the main lessons here is success is a letdown. The thrill is in the pursuit. Okay? Post that today. You know, part of the DMO uh, 3553 is to share, right? You can post that. Success is a letdown. The thrill is in the pursuit. So whatever success you want, I'll tell you, when you get there, you're going to be disappointed. It's not going to be that, that big a deal. Not that big a deal. If you want to be a six-figure earner, I'll tell you, not that big a deal. ML Nation, you know, I built a, <coughs> you know, with a, uh, I built a seven-figure business, eighty thousand dollars. Doesn't mean anything to me now, really. It's like, what's you know, at the moment it felt good. Doesn't mean much. Uh, built ML Nation with five million downloads podcast. So, so what? I mean, okay, it was cool, but it's a letdown. What else? What else is next? There's always going to be something to pursue more and more and more. It never ends. It never ends. But the thing that makes it rewarding, the rewarding success is a letdown. The thrill is in the pursuit. What makes it rewarding is the journey I've been to. You know, the journey to get my awards, my trophies, or build up. I remember the days, right? You know what? I'll share a couple of moments with me. One of my favorite, people ask me, what's your favorite time in uh, network marketing? My favorite time was not when when I became the number one distributor. Uh, in the company, it wasn't when I wasn't when I went became top sponsor. It wasn't when I was able to go full time. My most memorable moments was some of you saw that picture of like in 2004 at 4:30 p.m. I was in the old computer grinding it out, 
just prospecting, working on the DMO at 4.30 p.m., going every single day, doing three-way calls. And in a hot apartment, it was so hot, I couldn't open the, um, I would like to open the screen door, but I live right on the street there on Bundy, Bundy, South Bundy Drive in Los Angeles, right? I lived there, and at 4.30, traffic gets started at 3 o'clock. It was so loud, the buses, the cars, the traffic jam, the honking, that if I opened up, I couldn't even talk to a prospect, it was so loud. But if I closed it, I'd be sweating my butt off. That was my most memorable moment, knowing that, wow, I went from there to here. That's it. You know, success is a letdown. It's the, it's the journey, right? It's the same thing with a podcast. One of my most memorable moments is not because, oh, we got all these big-time leaders. It was when we're starting it out and, you know, being, me even being nervous, reaching out to these top leaders, you know, getting Danny Johnson on the show, getting, you know, Big Al on the show, bringing all these top leaders on the show. That's my most memorable moment. My most memorable moment in Australia wasn't, you know, having no BS, a huge event. Wasn't that. What they didn't speak on stage in front of thousands was when the first time I ever went to Australia, I was like, wow, I'm excited to go to a new country. Just back in 2012, went to Sydney. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anyone at the time. I just spoke at a major conference, landed, took the subway from the airport. It wasn't quite a subway. The train to, the, to, to King Street, I think, in downtown. And then I had to figure out my way. Right? Then realize like a bottle of water was like four dollars during the currency. It was just it's a journey that makes it rewarding. So know that you have to embrace is the person you're becoming. How are you growing every day? That is what makes it rewarding. It's the journey. So don't have to, well, if I get there, I'll be successful. I'll tell you, if you get there, your people who are negative, they'll still see you as not successful. Because they'll compare you to something else. And you is gonna feel I'm not successful yet. Hey, you wanna make a uh, thousand a month? You feel you're successful? I tell you, when you get there, if you, that's your goal, when you reach a thousand a month, you feel you're not successful yet. You're gonna go for two thousand. You get to ten thousand a month, you're still not feeling successful, right? And it's not about the money. I have friends who like they make twenty thousand a month and they're not happy. But I have people who are making friends who are making two thousand a month happier than friends who are making twenty thousand a month because they know that it's the journey that matters, it's the rewarding part, right? So when you are People who, are that, people who are not entrepreneurs, they don't get that. They like, look for results. They want to look results. I mean, if you made uh, extra, th- uh, if you made 3000 a month, would that make them happy? I bet you. They may say, okay, but I bet you still, they still probably still won't join you. Okay, I have a lot of close friends. I've made it. They still don't join me, right? They're still not interested in network marketing. So you can't let them affect you, okay? So know that the journey, if you're in the journey, being stuck, okay, being stuck in the, Right direction is better than going fast in the wrong direction. Okay, think about that. Being stuck. So if I'm in the U.S., I'm in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the West Coast. I want to go to New York, right? So let's draw this out. I'm in, um, now I cannot draw the U.S. map, okay? Just say this is the U.S. map here, all right? So yeah, this terrible map. But this is New York City. This is where I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. And this is Los Angeles, Right? If I am facing this way, just say I'm facing this way, but I am stuck or going very slowly, it, and I want to go here, I eventually want to go here, right? I, I'm still better, going stuck and going the wrong direction is still better than going fast, going the wrong direction, okay? Being stuck going the right direction, okay? Being stuck going the right direction is better than going wrong fast in the wrong direction because I go in the wrong direction I'm going to go fast I'm going to drive off the cliff and fall into the Pacific Ocean make sense does it make sense yes or no so know that you know sometimes we want to be going fast but you're stuck so comparing yourself okay this is something will be helpful uh your prospects oh I'm not successful yet you're already I want you to write this that you're already more successful than your prospect you are already more successful than your prospect because you're going in the right direction. Your prospect is going the wrong direction. They're just working, working, working at the job. They're going the wrong direction. You're going the right direction. You're already more successful than them already. That's all that matters because you're working on yourself. doesn't matter if you made a $1 or not. You're already more successful because you're going the right direction. You're learning. You're growing yourself. Right? You're learning personal development. You're taking action. You're learning about up here, overcoming your fears and challenges. Right? You're more successful than a prospect. And that's what that is relative. Now, that person may be more successful at your job. They may be a doctor. They may make more money. But that's the matter. Success is also not about money. They're going the wrong direction. You're going the right direction. So once I got this, once you get this, it doesn't matter. It's not about how much money or rank you have. You're already more successful than a prospect. 
right? So, yeah, people say, well, you're not even made it yet. Their opinions don't matter. Okay, ask someone that's made in network marketing, that's whose opinions that matters. And we talked about that already, okay? Another thing, dude, is stop comparing yourself. If you, comparisitis is the, the number one thing that will kill your business. If you compare yourself, oh, I wish I was them. You know, number one, it's the first thing, you don't know what type of crazy stuff they've gone after, okay? You never know that people like, they, people like the glory. They don't like the story. You see someone, people always ask, sometimes ask this question, how do you, uh, why do some people get, become so successful a very short time while well, I'm stuck? I, you know, they can become successful in six months, eight months while well, I'm stuck. Well, you don't know. Oh, don't compare your chapter one to chapter 20. You know, it took me a long time to get going. I'm a shy, quiet Asian kid from Brooklyn, New York. You talk to someone that's outgoing, been networking for a long time, of course they're gonna be more successful. You don't know what their previous career was. What did they do before? What do, you, what do you know about their involvement in the community? They may be involved in the community doing lots of things way before. So they've been really doing network marketing before you did start network marketing. See, when you started, if you're like me, I started networking, network marketing when I started network marketing, right? But you see them people, they've been, they were like a, maybe a church leader, community leader. Maybe they ran a gym. Maybe they ran their own meetings. Maybe they ran meetings at their company in corporate. So they're like, we're doing networking, network marketing before that, they're a networker. For me, I just have any skills. I just start from scratch. Some people have Facebook followers before they join network marketing. It's gonna be easier. Of course it's gonna be easier. Maybe they were givers, givers, givers. Maybe that influence already. So you cannot compare yourself to other people. And you also don't know, just because on the outside they're making all this money, they may be miserable. They may be totally miserable, right? Because we know money's not everything. <clears throat> they may have the success in their market while they're really happy. You don't know that. So don't compare yourself to others because if you can compare yourself, there's always one person better. There's always one person making more money. Well, who's the richest person in the world? Like what, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett? Are they really happy today? At this moment, are they really? You, do we even know? Well, I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Maybe there's other things bothering them, right? Maybe they're like Warren Buffett's getting old. He's worried about death. I mean, who knows what he's worried about? So don't compare yourself. Just because you have more doesn't mean they're happier. Okay, really important. Don't compare yourself. Now, last thing is we, and we can do a whole entire training about this, is the most important movie in your mind. Okay, the most important movie that you all have to watch and you have to watch again and again and again, okay, is the movie of your mind. The most important movie you gotta watch, so this is you, this is you, okay? that you have to watch, and I guess you're gonna adjust some bubbles, okay, is the movie of you. What are you? How do you, it's your self-concept. Your own movie, movie of yourself, movie of you. And this is really what we call the self-concept. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself, right? If you see yourself as not being successful, yeah, that's why you're gonna attract, you're gonna have these things. See yourself as, hey, I'm going on a journey. What's the story, see, you wanna create the movie of you? It's really, when we, that's one thing we're all guaranteed, we're all gonna die one day. What are they gonna say at your funeral? That's the movie of yourself. So we always act according to what we visualize. That's the rule, we always act what we, uh, what we visualize. So why are you watching this video today? Could you visualize yourself getting on here, watching it? Why am I doing this video, getting up uh, early to do this? I visualized last night, getting up. When I woke up today, I visualized myself getting on here. I visualized myself doing this training. I saw it already. When you wake up, what do you do? You normally brush your teeth, because you visualize yourself doing it, right? You, we always act according to what we visualize first. Things always happen twice. Write that down. Things always happen twice, first in the mind and then in reality. It goes back to what we talked about. You attract what you think up here and then in reality, right? So if you are worried about what the prospect will not join, guess what? You thought about it, that is what's gonna happen. That's why when you close, you always assume they wanna join. They assume they like what they see, not skepticism because people feed off that energy, right? So the movie of your mind, how do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? That's how we, that's the results. If you see yourself, I'm not successful yet. I'm still st learning. Well, people are not gonna see you as successful. 
visualize yourself on the journey, right? And but with the definition of successful we talked about, that's elusive. It's the journey that is successful. Now, visualize it. How do you see yourself? People ask me, well, Simon, how did you so consistent? Uh, how did you do it? Like, I posted the other day, maybe like a week or two weeks ago, like, oh, you have some amazing discipline. It's, the reason I do it, it's not because I have amazing energy. It's because that's the way I see myself. I do that. And we, by the way, you are all acting like that. The way you parent, right? You parent a certain style because you see yourself as that parent. Make sense? Right? Think about the other parts of your life. You, you always act consistent the way you visualize yourself. You, the way you parent, the way you raise your kids. Right? Do you, I, the way, whether you're consistent or not. If you want to be consistent, visualize and you see yourself as being consistent and start doing the things. We always do what we visualize. Make sense? Some of you uh, exercise a lot because you visualize yourself as being someone that's healthy. Right? Some of you eat healthy. Some of you don't eat healthy. It's, part, it's because you, vi- you want to be healthy, but you're not visualizing, seeing yourself being healthy. You always visualize. So, the, the movie of your mind is, uh, to make it really quick, is a bunch of images, t- affirmations. It's kind of like a dream board, but you always play it in your mind over and over and over again. Right? Uh, that's one of my routines. In the morning, every day, I listen to a certain song and I play it. Right, so for uh, so I I have a list of images, and these are affirmations. Okay, affirmations up here, and then images. Uh, if you see, there's a lot of affirmations. Right, images of things that matter to me. Okay, so things that matter to me. These are images, happy things. So the movie of your mind are things that are a couple of things. Right, well, well, I'm, I'm gonna share this with you right here. So, oops, it's uh, stop scrolling here. Oh. Uh, well, anyway, app froze. But I'll give you a couple of things. Move your mind. It is affirmations. It's your past successes. Past successes. Successes. And your future successes. Where are you going to be? And I know BS, we did an exercise. We're how people create this. Okay, and you constantly add to it your affirmations, your past successes. Now you say, "Oh, I haven't been successful in the past." We all have been successful in the past. Success is not, not, it's not about money. How about when the first time you became a parent? That was a huge success, right? First, maybe you graduated from school. You play sports in school. That's a success. Not everyone could make it make it to the team. Uh, maybe the day you signed up as a distributor, that's a success, right? Future successes. Where are you going to be? Take an image. I have an image of all the successes, right? These are my past successes. The happy moments. Because when you feel good, so these are all uh, moments here. Like people send me text messages. The first time I spoke on stage. They're all on here. My website, when we first started, started where I'm going to be. They're all on here. And every day I spend, you know, two, three minutes. I play a song to it. All right, uh, Chariot of Fire, I play on Spotify. I just go through these images and I visualize myself living and being that moment. Uh, do I get down? I get down. Whatever, you, just to let you know, as an entrepreneur, whatever you stuff you're going through, uh, like not being seen successful yet, hey, I get that feeling. Right? There are people who are, have bigger businesses than I do. Tons of people have bigger businesses than I do, right? But it's easy to get down. But visualizing success is not where you are, it's where you're going. And remember, leaders, amateurs sell products, sell company, leaders are selling vision. You're always selling where you're going. And in order to sell that well, you gotta have it up here. Okay, so work on the movie. This is probably the most important exercise you can do. Start collecting images of your past successes, your future successes. Past success, anything. You know, the day you got married, your wedding. That's why I have it. That was a success. You know, I married a beautiful girl. That was a success for me, right? Uh, the first time I had my son, that was a huge success. I have that image in there. All these things that make you feel good. You know, I spoke at a major conference. I'll give, I'll give you an example. I spoke at a major conference last week in Perth, right? I added that to my book because that's a success. So you're always thinking about successes and not the negativity. Because if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to have... It's the more, way, way more no's than yeses. Way more no's. I get way more no's than yeses. I get way more things that don't go well than things that go the way I wanted them to go. You go back to your movie. Okay, just remember things always happen twice. First in the mind and then in reality. 
right? So when you look at this movie, you just realize who cares about what the people, uh, who cares what people are thinking about you? Because ultimately, when I die, these are the things that are going to happen. Doesn't matter. Think, so, so here's one more thing to add, right? Your entrepreneur journey is always up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But if you know the ending of a movie, just say if, I, if we watched a movie here, right? I don't know. I don't really watch movies, but I might. If you didn't know what the ending was, and I gave it away, right? Or if I, if I, you didn't know what the ending was, right? I just I didn't give it away. During certain parts, you'd be nervous, you'd be stressed, you'd be like, "Wow, what's going on?" Right? You agree? If you don't know the movie, like every up and down, you're like nervous. You're like, wow, what's going to happen? It keeps the movie good. But if I ruined it and I told you what the movie was about and what happens at the end, would the movie be as exciting? Yes or no? If I told you the ending, this is what's going to happen to them. Would the movie be as exciting? Obviously, it wouldn't be as exciting. It wouldn't be exciting, right? You know what the ending is. It's the same drama with being an entrepreneur. If you know what the ending is, then if, if five people said no, who cares? You know what's going to happen. You visualize. You see it. So I have the ending of what's going to happen in my life. I know what's going to happen, like you know, when I die. So when I, you know, the whole journey. So if any drama happens today, it doesn't bother me because you know the ending already. Okay, super important. But if you didn't know the ending, if you didn't have the vision, you know, then every day ten people said no to you, uh, five people who just banned you on a Facebook group, you like, oh my goodness, I'm a, the world is ending. I'm not going to be successful. But if you know you are ultimately going to make it, then hey, this is just one step in the learning curve, right? You know, it's a roller coaster, up and down. This is the down, and you go back up. But if you don't know the ending of the movie, hey, it's going to be really scary. It's going to be frightful, and you have doubts. So. There it is. <clears throat> I know this is a little longer training, but super important. Now, how to overcome the fear of being seen, uh, seen as failing or successful. Number one, who cares what other people are thinking? But more important is the movie. If you know the ending of what's happening, hey, it'll be a lot, lot easier. Think about this. If you know, if you know where you're going, right? <clears throat> Just say you're driving. I'll give you one more example. If you know where you're driving and you know the destination and you get lost a little bit, it's all right. You make your way and find it. Right? You know, because you have the GPS, you know where you're going. But if you didn't know where you're going, and you went to a strange land, and you get lost, isn't it a lot more scary? Do you know where you're going? Same thing. Know where you're going, okay? Up here. 95% of success is all up here. If you have it up here, you know, it doesn't mean that things will be smooth. No, things are never going to be smooth, but the journey will be way, way easier. It's going to be a lot, lot more fun. Just remember, success is a letdown. The thrill is in a pursuit. And things always happen twice. First in the mind, and then in reality. 